Welcome back, fellow adventurers. It has been a long time. Actually, it's been a week since the last video. But I've done a, a decent amount of off-camera work here, I feel. I did a full pathway going around. I probably should throw some glow glass on the outside. If that's going to be open, I should let people at least see what's out there at the night. Um, but yeah, I threw a bunch of glow glass in here. I'm going to put some in the center yet, I think, as, long, as well as, rather, some protection blocks. As far as I can tell, this is fully protected, so nobody can come in and break stuff, which it'd be horrible if someone punched through the glass and then this filled with water. That'd be terrible. Um, as you'll notice looking out through here, it's slowly fixing itself. I left my client sitting while I had the game up, obviously, while I was eating my lunch, so it was like an hour. And these walls all had the upper layer of water showing the flowing texture, and now we're down to just the lower. So it's it's taking a long time, but it is slowly fixing itself. Looks like right up there we might have a jellyfish. Kind of just chilling. Not Jonah's over there as well. So yeah, come check out the new water area. I did have a small little issue, if uh, if we can call it that. I don't expect this to be something that's going to happen often, but I had a squid thing, whatever they are, somehow glitch through the glass. Not to worry though, because as soon as he was on the ground, he became immobilized. And I could easily just pick him off with my sword. So, yeah, hopefully that's not an issue we have to deal with much. But I just felt like I should mention that. With that out of the way, it is time to do some fun things. Like inventory management. Woohoo. Totally kidding. I just want to throw this stuff in there because I need some space in my inventory to get other things. I've got so much miscellaneous stuff here, it's insane. Okay, well let's throw all of the stone and cobble materials in here. I know I had bones sitting in one of these chests. There we go. Desert sand, actually that was going there. Desert sand comes out because desert sand should be in the ground nodes. And now the big reveal. I have more dirt than I know what to do with. I don't know. Just so much dirt, and I don't need it. But I can't do anything with it. I don't know why I'm carrying around one piece of snow. That's kind of silly. I could just chuck that someplace and be done with it. What? I thought when he threw snow, it placed. Yeah, let me just... Oh, I don't know. Let me swim down to the bottom of this. Just throw a chunk of snow. Yeah, it looks like it melted. That is what I wanted, so that's good. Alright, well. I know no one's really looking forward to this part of the video, but. It kind of had to happen. The. Re. Uh, Relocating of animals. Okay, sorry foxes, but you're not cows. You know, can I see what a sign says from the... F no, I can't. Great, well... Oh boy, can I not even... Meh. They don't take any damage? Do not hit Moon Kitty Builder's animals. Oh, great. Well, that's... That's a problem. So I've got animals in here. 
that were kindly replaced after an accident. Wiped out most of them. However, now I can't eliminate those animals. All right, well, in that case, this garden is amazing. I love it. I just wish I had more plants, more varieties of plants. Okay, well, with that being determined, I guess I'll move on to the next, the next point. I think I want to, oh no, that poor bear, he's stuck. Sorry, Mr. Bear, but I don't have whatever I need to do whatever with you. Sorry. Anyway, I want to put some, I don't know what to call them, observation towers, something. Something along those lines up in these top corners. So my thinking kind of is... Oh, hey, someone's got a house right there. It's kind of close, bro. But I guess that's fine. I am interested to see who this is, though. Finhay. Finhay? Uh, it's probably not to be enunciated, but... Whatever. If you want to put a house there, I guess you can. Anyway. I want to do... See, I don't know. Do I do it in all four corners? Do I put one here in the center as well? Obviously, on these sides, I can't. Because I have the stairway going up. Unless... Man, so many planning and designing things. What if I made another big area like this over on the other side? But I'd be sitting over water, so I'd have to build a whole floor. I don't know what I'd put in it, though. See, that's the thing. What would go in here on that side? Another garden? I don't need another garden. This provides me with all the food that I possibly need. Eh, well... I'm gonna run back and grab grab me some supplies so I can do some building. I could just grab a bunch of dirt, I guess, and just do a whole mock build with dirt. But I think I've got enough wood that I don't need to do that. Ah, uh, it's so hard to use a ladder with crystal boots. Okay, wood, 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 wood. Actually, let's throw... Let's chuck the meat in there first. Woodstuffs. Palm tree, acacia, acacia. Now, what does acacia wood look like? Oh, I forgot I had this stuff sitting in there, too. Red. Hmm. I think that would... That would probably look good. Let me go ahead and take all of that. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to grab these acacia tree saplings and plant those. Redwoods are just too big, so I don't want to use those. I do have quite a lot of redwood wood here, so I could very easily make... Oh wait, Redwood and Giant Sequoia. Which is which? Giant. This is the one that was the giant. I don't know what Redwood looks like. You know what? Let's go plant one of these too. Why not? Right? Alright, so... Actually, I need to get out from here. Is this a friendly tree monster? It seems to be. Poor bear. Still stuck up here. I need to tame a shark and put him in there. Just so I've got something to protect people. But that might actually be a bad idea because the shark might kill too many things. And kill stuff that doesn't necessarily need to be killed. Okay, so this is giant sequoia, giant sequoia. Right? So then what's the redwood? And more importantly, where am I going to plant any trees? There's so much other stuff here already. Uh, 
Acacia, acacia. Where can I put an acacia? Oh, zombie. You know, I haven't been this way in a long time. What's over here anyway? Hmm, just some sand. And a willow, I think, willow. And whatever these ones were, I forget. Okay, well. Yeah! Oh, and a shark. Oh, there's, there's everything I don't want to deal with. Everything I wanted and so much more. Oh, wait, no, there wasn't. Okay, well, I'm just going to plant a redwood here. I guess we'll see what happens. And then I'm going to pop an acacia here. Uh, and you know what? I think I'm going to throw an acacia right over here. And maybe an acacia in the snow. Because we all know acacia trees love growing in the snow. I don't think they actually do. But it is only a video game. So we can take those kind of poetic liberties. And you know what? I'm going to plant one right there as well. Okay, that's my my arboring arborist. I don't know. It's my arbor work for the day. Now, I need a pickaxe. Which, of course, all I have is a stone pickaxe. That's phenomenal. It'll work, though. Okay, so we put that there. Going right across. It might be better to block this in with dirt. I don't know. I guess once I do it this way, there's no going back. There is. I just would have to dig everything out and it would take longer. Alright. So that's the basic idea. Then these two sides should become blocks as well. Because I'll do an archway going over with a block. Okay, so I've got that. Um, it's not going to be doors. Uh, panda bear. Hmm. Alright, so we'll do that. Oh, I thought I jumped too far and was going to be on the outside of the fence. Right, three high. Boop. Oh, come on, I can't reach that. That's lame. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. And right there. Okay, now close that off. Take this across. And do the same thing here. Yeah, I could do this in all four corners. Just gonna end up using a lot of acacia wood though. Something I don't really have right at the moment. Good thing I planted those acacia trees. That'll definitely give me all the wood I need. I'll have to plant a lot more actually. Okay, so I've got this. Then what? Some kind of a stairway, someplace. Um. Hmm. I did grab a bunch of dirt. Good. I'm gonna do some blocking in here. Can I make dirt steps? I don't think so. No. I guess I can make worms though. That's kind of weird. How did I do that? Two dirt will give you a worm. Huh. <laughs> Not sure what I would use a worm for. Okay, anyway. Maybe I just do like a a big circular stair up or something. It's gonna have to have a rail, which isn't a big deal. That's easy enough, I think. I did a rail elsewhere, so I know I can do it. If 
I do that, I have a stairway going up. And then, what if I do this? Ah. Um, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, so I'd have a stairway going up. And up and up and up. Hmm. You can't really see anything in there when you do this. All you see is walls. Well, this might make for a really dumb tower then. Oh well, whatever. I'm gonna put it in anyway. If I just do like a circular stair going around the outside, that would work. I may want to make it two nodes wide though. Just for uh, safety's sake. Make it a little easier. I would then have to pull this out. So that whole corner would actually be like that. Well. And then this would be different. And the rest of this going up would be all set back one node. So that would go bye bye and that would go bye bye. And that would work. I would have to put solid walls, or even fences, honestly, there. That would work. And again, just do fences all around. <laughs> and then I guess, up at the top, whatever height I would choose to do that at, Crystal Boots, you will be the death of me. At whatever point I choose to make the top, I would just kind of mimic what I already have. Or would the better idea be, this is going to be a, a horrible video, everybody's going to be like, dude, decide what you're going to do before you film, man. I hated this episode. And I'm like, yeah, it was pretty horrible. But you could have turned it off, and you didn't. So that tells me something about you, something that you don't even want to admit yourself. Okay, now, here's the idea. Is it a good idea? Uh, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. If I put it on the inside, in the corners, and just put the acacia wood, ah, uh, well that would be a problem, right there, because there would be no way to get onto the stairs, so I would have to mess around with that. Make the passageway three high. That would be the simplest solution. Of course, it's going to require tons of digging. I should have blocked all this in with dirt first. Okay, well, this would be the, the answer to that. Just make that higher. And then leave the outside completely untouched. You know what? I think I like that more. So you'd still have your path on the outside. And I could put solid walls or whatever on this. It wouldn't even matter. And then you would have a way where you could go up. And you could go to a high point and you could kind of look down upon everything in the zoo. Spit out the window. I mean, I, you could. I'm not saying that you should do that, but that would be possible. Hmm. That might be what I do. Because that sounds like a better idea. And it'll use a little bit less wood. Like, four fewer pieces. That actually cut more than that, because I won't be uh, doing this little archway thing here. And I'll have one fewer pillar going in here. So it'll save a little bit of wood. 
Not much. I understand. But every little bit helps. Okay, do I have a good shovel? I do. Excellent. I love it when people actually use their heads and have good tools. That was just like a bee or a wasp buzzing around. It's kind of weird, not gonna lie. Especially because I didn't see anything. Well, I will go ahead and just kill this axe. Shouldn't take too long. I got steel and stuff. I think I got some mice crystals actually in a chest as well. I can use those and build a better axe. And maybe do some of this off camera or, ah, there was a bee. Or we'll just do it in the next episode. Don't know. Probably in the next episode. People are going to start complaining that I'm doing too much off camera. So, to keep the viewers happy, because that's the only reason to do this. Like, if you're not doing it for the viewers, why are you bothering to record it? Definitely not recording it for my own watching pleasure. Alright, so, that's it's going to be replicated four times. You know, I might, I might compromise here. I might build one and film it, and then the other three do off camera. Because they're all going to be exact replicas. Down to the very, um... Hey, perfect. Perfect. They're going to be exact replicas. So... I mean, I guess they might be rotated, so like, the stair will start there on this one, and the next one it will start on this side or something. But other than that, they'll be the exact same thing. Stairs will just kind of be oriented a little differently. Well, with that being kind of figured out-ish, it's not figured out at all. But I've got a plan, I've got an idea. We're gonna roll with it. So next episode we will be working up on the little lookout tower there some more. I honestly need to make a, a better way for me just to do this. I don't wanna put a ladder here so people can just climb up. But I do need an access way for me. I need a lot of access ways. This whole, the whole building here is horribly designed in regards to administrative work. No animals? What a shame. Actually, I should throw some glow light in there quick. But I don't have that ladder anymore. Do I even have glow glass on? No, I don't. Well, I'm not going to bother. We'll just end the episode off here. Looking out onto the impressive expanse of what will one day be the world's premier underwater viewing area thing. I don't know what else to call it. So, until next time, guys, keep exploring, keep doing whatever is it, whatever it is you do. Watch YouTube videos, I guess. And I will see you around. Because I'm watching you.